A few years ago, uh, during the presidential campaign, there were a few who uh, coined the term uh, of revolution. And indeed, I endorse the idea of revolution. I endorse the idea of an intellectual revolution. And that's, uh, to me, very important. So the intellectuals who have given us this mess that we have today have to be challenged on the issues themselves. For instance, the economic system that we're suffering from is not free markets. It's Keynesian intervention, inflationism, driven by a Federal Reserve that we need to get rid of. <laughs> One thing with certainty, I am convinced that the government a people get is the government they deserve. If Glenn Beck, who obsesses nearly as strangely as this Mr. Loeffner did about gold and debt, and who wistfully joked about killing Michael Moore, and Bill O'Reilly, who blithely repeated Tiller the Killer until the phrase was burned into the minds of his viewers, if they do not begin their next broadcasts with solemn apologies for ever turning to the death fantasies and the dreams of bloodlust, for ever having provided just the oxygen to those deep in madness to whom violence is an acceptable solution, then those commentators and the others must be repudiated by their viewers and listeners, by all politicians who would appear on their programs, including President Obama and his planned interview with Fox on Super Bowl Sunday, and repudiated by the sponsors and by the networks that employ them. If all of these are not responsible for what happened in Tucson, they must now be responsible for doing everything they can to make certain Tucson does not happen again.